So my BMW was broken. channel welcome back to another lit video with your boy j-rock man as y'all know as y'all can see my new whip is right here my baby my bmw my beamer i haven't come up with a name with name for it yet it's got to be something start with a b and i haven't found nothing sexy start with a b in a minute if y'all got any uh, suggestions let me know in the comments below but my baby man i might just call the baby baby for bmw b you know what i'm saying maybe I don't, it gotta be something better than that though but i'm starting this video because my baby has some issues already so um i've had the car for about a month now literally about a month now so far as far as like the driving experience as far as just the bmw experience as a whole ain't nothing wrong with it at all like i'm in love pull up you know what i'm saying beep beep on the air open the door to the red gut showing what it is if it's a hot day I'm taking the top off we can get sexy you know what i mean i did do the little carbon fiber interior trim it is kind of like loose in this corner if y'all can see that like it bubbles a little bit sometime in that corner but other than that like it's clean i still got more stuff to do to it but so far it's smooth man ain't nothing really wrong with it except for under the hood let me show you what i'm talking about People told me over and over again, don't get a BMW, it's so unreliable, it's so unreliable. They're not unreliable, they're great cars, but they do have certain things that do go wrong with them. So for those who don't know about cars, y'all probably looking at this like, this is crazy. I kind of know a little bit and I'm learning, that's why I got this car. But uh, there are some things about this that I have to worry about, have to pay attention to, have to fix. One of them being the oil filter housing gasket. This is the oil filter housing gasket. Well, not the gasket, this is the whole oil filter housing. The whole thing right here, this whole thing, it's the oil filter, and then there's the gas, the, the whole thing, the gas is on the inside. But on mine, y'all can see, it's a little, it's a little greasy. Yeah, you see that? It's a little greasy. There's a reason why, and I'll show y'all in a second. See this? You're probably wondering why I have this Sherpa right here, why it's dirty. The problem is, when I get inside, take my key out, put it in, and I start the car. Oh! Boy, ain't no way, bro. Boy, ain't no way, bro. You get a leak. Now I gotta use this to wipe it down so it don't get too crazy. But I have a leak, a bad one too. It's, this wasn't even that bad. It's been worse sometimes. Where the leak like crazy. So yeah, that's bad. Uh, that's the number one thing I'm dealing with right now. Well, the biggest thing I'm dealing with because if that keeps leaking the way it is, I have a consistent oil leak that ends up turning into, what is it, the serpentine belt being messed up, oil getting into my radiator fluid, my radiator hose, and then I got oil in my radiator, and or I might have radiator fluid into my engine, or just all type of stuff that can go wrong, right? So I gotta get that done ASAP. I actually have all type of stuff, man. I got boxes on boxes on boxes on boxes on boxes on bags on different things to start working on i have a whole bunch of uh, stuff like i said and i'm getting ready to go ahead and start working on it so i'm not really worried about it too much i'm about to take care of it but yeah man my bmw is, is broken I think what it is is just the, the oil filter cap, but I also know that the gases go bad on those, so I do have an oil filter housing gasket to replace it with and the bolts. So I'll do a video on that. I also have uh, the valve cover gaskets I need to replace because as gaskets go, they're plastic, they're rubber, they end up breaking and getting brittle over time. Shocks and struts, the front knuckle that the strut sits on on the passenger side in the front. I got rotors for the back, I got brakes, I got a new serpentine belt on the way, I got an upper radiator hose on the way. I got a whole lot of stuff, man. So I got a whole video coming soon with me doing all of the maintenance mods I need to do because I got it and it was running smooth, but as time go, there's certain things I need to either get done ASAP or I know it's gonna have to get done soon. I'm gonna go ahead and knock it all out like now. So that eventually when I want to get into performance mods and like cosmetic mods, I don't feel bad about it and I can go crazy knowing that my car is running away and need to be running. Had to show y'all this real quick just to let y'all know my car is broken. Kinda, it's not bad. But I had to let y'all know what's going on so y'all can expect more videos coming soon, more maintenance, more mods, all type of stuff on the car, man. I'm not sleeping on it, we going crazy with this whip. So y'all just stay tuned, man. But all that being said, y'all wish me luck on this whole build, this whole journey. Stay tuned for another video. It's your boy J Rock. We going, man. Back outside, boys, turn the 70 on the strip. I'm ready to cut in the tracks, bend in the cone, but I make shit.